Hi, welcome to part 3 of this tutorial. On this part 3, what I want to do is to be able to check on all of this. Just click on them and add up whatever is in here. Okay, and the number or the numeric up and down. Add whatever value, all the values in here. So the value of the drink will come in here and the cost of the meals will go in here. Cost of delivery will be standard. And the same thing applies to cost of drinks. That will be standard as well. And we now have the subtotal. The subtotal will be that of drinks and meal will be appeared in here. And we have the tax. Then we have delivery will be added to the total amount so let's have a go at that so we come in here double click on cost of meal and enter the following variables maybe we should increase the tax rate okay those are the variables that I intend to use you can see they are all constant this is the cost of the chicken, the cost of the bacon cheese, bacon and cheese, and the cost of chicken, chicken meal. Then that's the cost of delivery, that is standard. The cost of the drinks is all standard as well, and that is the tax on whatever meal. And here are the other variables I intend to use. I'll be making use of all these variables in my coding. So now that the variable is taken care of, the next thing we want to do now is to be able to write a program that if any of these is checked, okay, that's what I'm going to be dealing with now. So let's come in here. So in here, and I have the cost of the chicken is assigned to this variable there. Bacon and chicken meal is all assigned. The price is assigned here. Okay, and then if the chicken checkbox is clicked. This is what I want it to happen. Okay, this very cost here. I really don't need this anymore because it's all here as well. Okay, and whatever is entered in the text box is then multiplied with this and stored in here. The same thing applies here. Okay, you can see they're not needed anymore. You can always get rid of them and the same thing is applied to the third one and right underneath here we have the cost of delivery okay so the cost of delivery no matter the amount of delivery to be made the price is standard is assigned to delivery label there and that is then assigned to delivery here which is then multiplied by how many delivery are to be made and here is converted to pound sign then we've repeated exactly the same thing for the drinks here okay let's take it down now and right here I have the final sum up Okay, you can see the drinks. Okay, multiply by the standard cost of the drinks plus the delivery plus whatever meal. If it's uh, then this is uh, chicken, then this is just ch chicken burger. This is chicken meal, and that's the chicken and bacon. Is then added together and stored inside subtotal. And subtotal is converted into pounds on there. Okay, then the the item amount is stored in here, converted into pound sign as well. Now is then multiplied by the tax rate, which is right up here. 
there's the tax rate there okay and we have we have the tax the tax that you paid is displayed and the tax is added to the total and the cost of delivery and that's it and that's drink the cost of drink is also displayed on the label for drink that is all there is to it so we're going to give that a try before we have a look at the receipt look so let's go to build rebuild okay now let's run it now there so we click on this and assign how many of those items we intend to purchase the drinks select the drink the price of any drink you select is standard anyway it's one pound and multiply by how many drinks you want okay delivery if you intend to make one or one delivery and the tax is checked as well click on cost of meal and that is it if you have a look at it that's the meal that's the drink they've all been added together then we now add this plus this to give us 67 okay then 46 plus 50 that give us 90 Six. So the cost of everything is says uh, sixty-seven pounds ninety-six pence. We also have our calculator here. If you, can, you can always use the calculator to verify the price that you're paying. Okay, if you want to. Then depend on how you want to pay your pay for your meal. So you can always convert it to whatever you want. This is all right, so that's the cost. Okay, now let's have a look at the receipt. So, exit. We need to have a look at the receipt, the dates, and the time. So, let's come in here right underneath here. You guys must have seen the receipt before. I did that in a it's very simple, it's similar to the ticket managing system that I did earlier on okay there we go and that is it right here those are the lines of code for the receipt so for the for whatever meal you want I will always clear it clear the receipt first and those are the, all the information for the receipt that's the name of the restaurant and right here the dates time and date whatever meal you want chicken burger chicken burger name bacon and cheese burger it's all there all of those information will be displayed there and the drinks you have and home delivery subtotal total and so on so that's how you create your own receipt okay let's have a look at the date and time right here I have two labels this very label is called time and the other one is called date okay LBL date and I also add I added one timer this very timer is to take care of the, that's the timer that was added this timer will take care of the time that is right here okay and I then double click on this timer itself and enter the following okay call this method and that's my variable there All right that variable is then assigned to timer dot long time spring right there that's for the timer 
so you can also use the same variable for the date all you just need to do is to change the date here so let's have a look at the date I have that on my form load right in here I have that of the date these are the codes for the date put that on form load so that the system can load it up immediately and you can also ask the system to start the timer here but I have my timer way up here let me show it to you I've actually entered it in here you have to initialize the timer I put it out there initialize component or the initialize components there they are if we run the program now let's run it so that you have a look at it again there we go so we select our mail okay drinks how many drinks we want okay we want orange juice delivered we want that to be two okay well maybe one now we click on cost of meal there we go and we have a look at our receipt right there that's the receipt okay we can select the receipt okay um copy oh we can save it we can save whatever we have on the receipt so let's give it a name food one okay save there saved we can always click and clear and we can also reopen our receipt that's it okay clear new one open right there okay and we can select it all cut we can paste or we can select it all copy and paste it right underneath here all right so that's how the receipt works okay that's how it works so with that guys i'm gonna leave you all with uh, is very very advanced C++ tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it you can always modify do whatever you like with it so with that I'm gonna say you have a nice day now bye for now